Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series on PLC programming. In today's video, we're going to take a look at example number 11, which is pump filling process. This is one of the application where on delay and off delay timer are used together. And that is why this example is taken into consideration. At the first place, let us look at the question or the problem statement and try to understand the requirement and we will draw the diagram according to the requirement. And then from there, we will get started with a ladder diagram. So the question is as follows. The process involves pumping fluid from tank A to tank B. The operation of the process can be summarized as follows. Before starting, PS1 must be closed. When the start button is pushed, the pump starts. The button can then be released and the pump continues to operate. When the stop button is pushed, the pump stops. PS2 and PS3 must be closed 5 seconds after the pump starts. If either PS2 or PS3 opens, the pump will shut off and will not be able to start again for another 14 seconds. So let us look at the diagram which can pictorically make us understand what is the requirement. So they have given there are two tanks A and B and there is a pump that actually pumps the liquid from tank A to tank B through the switches PS1, PS2, PS3. So these switches has the control of the liquid flowing from tank A to tank B. In addition to this, there are two other switches that is start and stop, which will always be there in any process for that matter. So I've not included it over here, but in the ladder diagram, I will be representing it over there. Having said that, how do we draw the ladder diagram for these type of problems? It's pretty simple and straightforward. Let's look at the ladder diagram first. I've just considered the diagram for your understanding. So the ladder diagram is as follows. If you carefully observe, you might have a question. How do we say this is the right ladder diagram for this question? For that, we need to analyze it first. Now, they had given a condition that only after PS1 is on, that is only after PS1 is on, the start push button must be pressed and the liquid starts flowing. That means I will first energize PS1 in this particular fashion. And one thing that needs to be noted is the green one indicates that they are energized and the red one indicates that they are not energized. Just a colorful representation. Now, once I press the start push button in this particular fashion, the contact gets energized. And if you carefully observe, the entire contact in this rung is energized. Hence, the rung gets energized in this particular fashion and the current starts flowing and the pump actually is energized in this case. Since the pump is energized, and according to the concept of latching, the same address is used over here as well. And that is why even this contact gets energized. No more about latching. I've already made a video on that. Please to watch that. So similarly, the same address is used over here as well. And this contact gets energized. And consequently, what happens? The run gets energized. The on delay timer gets energized in this particular fashion. Once the on delay timer is energized, the enable becomes high. Instantly, this is according to the working of on delay timer and the timer starts counting the time delay. I have set it as 5 seconds. So it will take 5 seconds and after 5 seconds is counted, the done bit will go high. So once done bit goes high, the same address is used over here that is T40 done bit and consequently the current starts flowing through this path as the rung is energized and the off delay timer is now energized. According to the working of off delay timer, once it is energized, what happens? Both enable and done bit will become high instantly. As a result, you can see the EN and DN bits are indicated in green over here. Now, what are we ensuring? According to the question, they mentioned that PS1 should be uh, on and then after that start button should be pressed after the start button is pressed the pump will start after the pump is starting there is five second delay and only after five second delay ps2 and ps3 is turned on and uh, that is in turn connected to the circuit so if you carefully observe we have achieved that but now the process still continues isn't it since this done bit goes high let me consider it in another slide so since the done bit over here is very high what happens Consequently, this opens up because these are normally closed contact. The same address is used over here. Since this is open, if the current is blocked at this path and it is open circuit at this point, there is no chance that the current can flow through the pump and as a result, the pump will stop. Since the pump is stopped, the same address is used over here as well and the pump stops here as well. 
As a result, the on-delay timer is de-energized, and once on-delay timer is de-energized, they enable bit goes to low, and consequently, the done bit also goes to low condition according to its working. Since the same address of the done bit is used over here, even this goes to low, and if the current is blocked at this point, it acts as open circuit, and no current flows through this path. As a result, the off-delay timer is also de-energized. After energizing an off-delay timer and if you de-energize it now, the off-delay timer starts, isn't it? According to the working of off-delay timer. So it's very important to understand the working of on-delay and off-delay. And if you have not understood that, please do watch out in my previous video. I have clearly explained that concept. Now, since it is de-energized now, what happens? The off-delay timer, enable bit goes to low instantly. Enable always follows the input. And now the off-delay timer starts counting the time in seconds. We have set it for 14 seconds. Until 14 seconds, no other process will take place. Even if you press PS2, PS3, start or stop, it does not impact your ladder diagram. Consequently, after 14 seconds, the done bit goes slow. Once the done bit goes slow, this becomes high and it gets energized and consequently the entire process repeats again. So one thing that we have taken into consideration is PS1 turns on and start button is pressed, the pump starts. After the pump starts, there will be 5 seconds delay and only after 5 seconds delay, PS2 and PS3 will be connected. And after that, in case PS2 or PS3 is opened or once the done bit of off delay timer is energized, it has to wait for 14 seconds and no other process will take place. And that is exactly according to the requirement of the question. If you like this video, please do like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Please do keep supporting. Thank you.